Okay, so let's assume that we have a sphere for which we have found that the surface area is equal to 25 plus or minus 0 0.7 meters squared. And from this, we want to calculate the volume of the sphere with uncertainty. So we would then have to express the volume as a function of the surface area of the sphere, but that is not a very natural connection. But there exists a very natural connection between a, the surface area, and r, the radius of the sphere, and the same goes for the volume and the radius of the sphere. So what we can do is instead of calculating directly from the surface area, the volume of the sphere with uncertainty, we can pass through the radius first. So we will calculate the radius of the sphere with uncertainty, and then use that to find the volume of the sphere with uncertainty. So the connection, and of course, the uncertainty 0 0.7 is a small change in the surface area of the sphere, delta a, and as now a plays the role of the independent variable, delta a is the same as dA. The relation between a and the radius is that the surface area of the sphere is 4 pi times the radius squared. We can isolate for r, so we get r squared is a over 4 pi, take the square root as r is positive, and if we split the root, we get the root of a on top over the root of 4 pi. We can simplify a little bit. The root of 4 is 2, so we have 1 over 2 root of pi, and the root of a, thinking of later on finding the derivative, we will simply rewrite the root of a as a to the 1 half. Well, we can now find first the value of the radius. So square root of a, a is 25. So root of 25 divided by 2 root of pi. Root of 25 is 5 over 2 root of pi. And this is approximately if we use a calculator, 1.410 meters. So we now have the radius in meters, and we will need also the uncertainty of the radius. This is, of course, a small change in the radius, delta r, which we will approximate with the differential dr. And now since r is a function of a, the differential is the derivative of r, with respect to a times, of course, dA, the change in the independent variable. dA over dA, of course, cancel, and we get dR. So we now have to differentiate r with respect to a. So 1 over root of 2 pi, 1 over, sorry, 1 over 2 times the root of pi is a constant multiple. So it stays there in the derivative. And then, times the derivative of a to the one-half by the power rule, we get one-half a to the negative one-half, and this is now dA, uh, dr over dA, and of course times dA. We can simplify and rewrite this a little bit. So on the bottom, if we send a down, the negative will become a positive power of a half, which will be the root of a, 2 times 2 is 4, and so on top we'll be left with dA only over 2 times 2, 4, root of pi, and the square root of a. And now we can evaluate, since we have all the pieces, dA is 0 0.7, over, so 4 times root of pi, and root of a, since a is 25, the root of 25 is 5 times 4, 20, so over 20 times the root of pi. 
And if we now use a calculator to estimate this, we obtain approximately 0 0.0197 meters. And so we now have the radius of the sphere with uncertainty. So we can write down this in one piece. And so the radius is 1.410 plus or minus the uncertainty 0 0.0197 meters. But this, is what, this was not the objective, right? The objective was to find the volume of the sphere with uncertainty. But now since we have the radius of the sphere with uncertainty, we no longer have to connect V with A, but we can instead connect V with the better variable R. So the volume of a sphere in terms of R is of course 4 thirds pi R cubed. So we have here the value of the radius. If we plug it in here, we will obtain approximately 11.75 four meters cubed. So we have the volume of our sphere with uncertainty. We now need, uh, sorry, without uncertainty, we now need to find the uncertainty of the volume. This of course is a small change in the volume, which we will approximate by the differential in the volume. So since V is a function of R, the differential dV will be the derivative of V with respect to R times of course the change in R. Well, we can differentiate now this function. So 4 thirds pi is a constant multiple. So it stays there as a constant multiple in the derivative. Derivative of r cubed in terms of r, of course, by the power rule is 3r squared. So now we have dv over dr times, of course, dr. We can simplify 3 over 3 cancels. And so we're left with 4 pi r squared dr. And now we have the value of r and the value of dr. And again, I should have written this here as we are now considering r being the independent variable in the volume v. The uncertainty, of course, is delta r, which is the same as dr. And so if we replace r by the value and the uncertainty by its value, we will obtain here approximately 0 0.494 meters cubed. And so we can now write our conclusion. The volume of the sphere with uncertainty is 11.754 plus or minus 0 0.494 meters cubed. And so you can see, once we did the work of finding the radius with uncertainty, since the connection between the volume and the radius of a sphere is more elegant than the connection between the volume and the surface area of a sphere, then, again, once we had figured out R with uncertainty, it was easier to figure out the volume with uncertainty. And that's it.